Hey guys, I have an art supply haul to share with you. It's not a large art supply haul, but I did pick up some very interesting things that I wanted to share. Okay, before we get started, I just want to talk about, uh, for a second, why I haven't been filming as often as I used to. Okay, so for those of you who follow my channel, you all know that I have a little dog named Bo. He's a four pound chihuahua. He's absolutely adorable. He's elderly now. He's, um, well, he's almost 18. His birthday's coming up soon. Uh, but he has a lot of issues and he requires 24 hour care now. So I am doing the best I can to keep him comfortable. So I'm even up several times during the night. I'm tired during the day. Um, but, you know, all in all, he's doing okay for now. So that's why I haven't been filming as much as, um, yeah. So nothing's wrong with me. Everything's fine. I'm just taking care of my baby. So let's get to, uh, let's get to the art supplies and uh, show you what I got. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to try was um, this brush by Winsor & Newton. It's a synthetic filbert. Now, I heard a lot of good things about this brush, and I love a hog bristle brush. So, I thought I would give this a try. Now, my favorite brush is a filbert. When I buy brushes, I usually grab filberts and rounds. So, I'm, I'm trying out three sizes in their filbert, size eight, size six, and size four. I think these are uh, my most used sizes. Now, I do, I will say, the number four, I tend to grab this one the most. Now, depending on the brush company, um, this is m from my experience, um, you, they're not universal throughout. Like, you can grab a size eight in one brand, and it'll be it could be large and then grab a size eight in another brand and it's a lot smaller. I mean, you just look at the, look at the brush. Don't necessarily look at the number. Uh, just look at the brush itself and see if that's the size that's going to be good for you. Okay, so the reason I wanted to pick up a synthetic instead of a hog bristle is because uh, I mean, synthetics have a much more even tip to them. Um, hog bristle brushes are great for holding a lot of paint and laying down color, but if you ever want to get, make sure you get that really smooth line, sometimes you just want to use a synthetic so that edge, the edge uh, you're trying to create um, is really smooth and, and you can get that with a uh, synthetic. And sometimes that's much more difficult with a natural bristle brush. Okay. So I'm going to try these. I haven't yet. I just got them, but I will pick up a couple uh, if I like these. I'm going to pick up a couple of these in the rounds. And um, anyway, so I got that. And they're they actually a really beautiful brush, too. Natural wood color. And, and if you notice, guys, it's not a straight... Uh, it's not straight. It goes in, it dips in, it gets really skinny right in the middle, and then it gets fat on either end. I'd imagine that makes it much easier to hold, um, you know, at the, at the, you know, just like that. And that's really how you want to paint. It, if you're doing detail work, you know, getting really, really up close, you can bring your hand farther uh, to, the, to the tip, but really you're supposed to hold your brush back here so you have um, greater movement. Okay, so let's move on to what I have next. Okay, so I use this all the time. If I'm doing a charcoal sketch, you know, you have to fix your work. So I, I do have the workable fixative. I also use the spray varnish on top of the workable fixative. Now you may be wondering, what's the difference? Okay, a workable fixative can be erased. So this is what you use between layers. If you're working for a while on a, a piece, let's say, let's just use charcoal for instance. Okay, if you're working on a piece and, and you don't want to smudge it, it's just the way you want it. Well, go ahead and spray a layer of workable fixative. It'll set it, but then, and then you can continue to work, but if you need to go back and erase something, you can. Okay, now, 
if you want to set it for good, then you can use like a spray, um, a final fixative. You can use a spray varnish or something called a final fixative. So there's a workable fixative and then a final fixative. Okay, so that's the difference, but I go through a lot of this. So I just stocked up. Okay, another thing I just stocked up on is masking tape. Um, this is a really good deal. This is by Blick, and I have, I don't know, about six, eight of these already, but I went ahead and grabbed another one. Since I was making an order at Blick, I tend to do that, guys. If I, because I, I figure, well, I'm you know, ordering anyway, might as well pick up, pick up another one. So I did. Okay, another thing that I haven't tried yet, but I really want to try, um, so I did, is the Gamvar Gloss Varnish. Now, I do believe this comes in matte and in satin um, but anyway I wanted to pick up the gloss um, this is for oil painting so this is your final varnish you know once your oil painting is completely dry which takes anywhere from six months to a year sometimes longer for your oil painting to dry so where you can add your varnish on top so um, yeah I got that Okay, so let me just show you this while I'm looking at it. I went ahead and picked up a couple more um, colors of oil paint. So I bought Sennelier and uh, Holbein. Let me just say, of all the oil paints I've been trying lately, Holbein, I think, might be my favorite. This stuff was a surprise to me. I did not know I would love it as much as I do. And the reason, the number one reason I love this so much is it's incredibly smooth and creamy. It doesn't separate. Now, it, it's not a bad thing that oil paint separates. That's just the nature of oil paints, and it's no big deal. You just take your palette knife, and um, you incorporate the oil back into it on your palette. You know, whatever. But this is so creamy and it doesn't separate i don't know it just feels luxurious using holbein feels completely different it just is fabulous okay so let me show you the colors that i just picked up okay so this is the sennelier colors uh, this is sennelier oil paint and i bought the colors um, antique red and cinnabar green light. So this is antique red and cinnabar green light. These are beautiful, so beautiful. And I went ahead and did my swatches, um, you know, just ahead of time. I'm not doing them live on camera, but I did these about five minutes ago. So you can see they're still a little bit wet. And the paper that I'm swatching them on is for um, oil paint. So you can actually, I went ahead and I had large sheets and I, I cut it up into little sizes so I can do these swatches for you. So this is actually textured. Um, it's supposed to mimic the texture of canvas. So this is actually meant for um, oil paint. Now I did my swatches. The last uh, art supply haul I did, I did my swatches on super thick like watercolor paper. I shouldn't have done that because um, it, it got all it, the oil just like the paper just sucked up the oil and it looked kind of oily, um, especially on oh gosh what was it um, the the Daniel Smith oil paints looked really really oily and I think it was because the paper I was using so this paper I just wanted to make sure I did the, my swatches for you guys on the paper that will. Um, for the paint that it was intended for. So uh, that's what I did. So this paper is actually for oil paint. And so you can really see how beautiful that is. Okay, so let me turn my camera off for just a second, guys, because um, my camera's fixing to shut off. So I'll be back. Okay. Oh gosh, technical issues. All right, so let me show you the next uh, is the, um, let's see, this is the Holbein paint. And I bought two colors to add to the palette I already have. This one's called Terra Rosa, and this is the monochrome uh, tint in cool. So this is a beautiful, beautiful neutral gray, and uh, this red is just fabulous. Now, I, I did buy 
uh, the Terra Verde also. And this that green with this red is so beautiful together. So these are my two um, colors of Holbein. And I'm, I just, I don't know if the creaminess is coming off on camera or not, but these paints, like I said, they're, they're just a luxury. These are just really, really good oil paints. So I'm, I couldn't be happier with them. So these are the colors. Let me just bring both of them um, onto camera. I don't know if you guys can see both of these or not, but these are the colors that I just got and they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so you can actually see these are much shinier. They, they even look oily on the paper. Um, like I said, and that's not, not wrong, but the whole binds are so incredibly creamy. It's just amazing. I love them. All right, so let's push this to the side, and I'll show you what else I got. Okay, so I picked up some more um, charcoal sticks from Generals. Okay, let me just say for a second, everywhere... Everywhere I shop for um, art supplies, let's say if I run to Hobby Lobby for something or Michael's, you know, a place like that, when I look for my charcoal, they only sell them in packs of three. And now I'm specifically speaking about this General's um, charcoal stick. They only sell them in sack packs of three and they have a 2B, a 4B, and a 6B. Well, and then you get one of each. Well, I like the 6B, so I really don't want to, you know, buy a couple packs and then have to, like, you know, just put my 2B and my 4B in the drawer and, and then not use it. Um, so I want just 6Bs. Blick is the only art supply store. Now, I'm not saying that this is the only place you can get it, but for me personally, this is the only place I've ever been able to find a box of six bees. So I buy it from Blick and I get six sticks of the six B and this is actually my favorite uh, when I do charcoal sketches. This is what I like to use. So um, so yeah I picked up some of these and they're actually they're very affordable. I think it's what less than seven dollars and you get six of them. It lasts a long time. So yeah if you're looking, if you want, now you can buy a six pack of the four B's or the six pack of the two B's at Blick, but I buy, I buy the six B's. So I picked that up and I, I absolutely love these. Okay, so another thing I got is the General's, uh, this is their Jumbo Willow. So I don't have this. This is the first time uh, that I purchased this and so let's pull this out and look at it. Now this is a set of six that comes wrapped up just like this. Oh wow! Okay so the willows these are natural so as you can see they're not uniform sizes. Okay so here's, so this is the difference. So don't expect them to be exact. Now look at look how amazing this is. You can see it's a stick. Okay, so don't ex when you order your willows, don't expect it to be like all uniform and exactly the same size because it's not going to be. Um, okay, so I love how big these are. I'm, I'm very very happy. I don't know if I'll ever be able to roll these back up again like they had them, but let's see if I can stick it back in the in the box. I don't know. I don't know. I, no, I'm not going to be able to. Okay, I don't want to break it, so I'm just going to put this aside. Okay, I want to show you one more thing. I love Blick. I love, love Blick. I ordered just about all of my art supplies from Blick. Okay, so this time when I made a purchase, I got a catalog. I love when I get catalogs. So they have all kind of deals and they have like, you know, um, sets and things like that. Now I go on Blick all the time. Uh, I'm gonna have to confess, I go shop on Blick at least once a day. Now I'm not saying I buy 
something every day, but I add it to my cart and I think about it and go, do I need that? And so I do visit their website all the time and look around. But I love when I get a catalog because they give you, you know, there's, I don't know, there's, they tend to, I tend to find things that I didn't see um, on their website. So that's always a lot of fun. So I got this uh, in, in my box and then I just got this in the mail. So here's another one. Um, this is the Holiday Savings and it has tons of cool things in this one too. So I haven't looked through the whole thing yet, but I'm really looking forward to doing that. And let me run in my studio real quick. quick. Just hold on guys, let me show you something else. Now this, you can order um, you, on their website. You call their customer service and they'll help you do it. And by the way, let me just mention real quick, Blick is the best, or it has the best customer service of any place I've ever shopped at, bar none, literally. Okay, so this, look how big this is, guys. Look, this is a really thick, catalog. Okay, so this is the Blick for 2021-2022. This is, a, I believe this is the latest one I got. Uh, but anyway, um, I think, no, no, I have, no, I have a couple of these in the other room. This might, might not be the latest one. Um, but anyway, this is just amazing. You, just about everything that's on their internet. Oh, look, some coupons. I didn't even know this was in here. I should have been using these. It's okay. Anyway, so it, you will even get some coupons in your book, but, and you see how it's color-coded at the top? Um, you have color-coded sections, so that helps you easily, you know, find what you need. But anything and everything having to do with art, Blick has it. It's, it's an amazing, amazing art store. So anyway, you can also request one of these. Um, just go to their website or go to, like I said, call customer service and they'll help you. I love these books too, but these are always fun. I was so excited and I just wanted to show you guys that um, they do have these smaller catalogs that are always fun uh, to shop in. All right, so that is my art supply haul today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It always helps when you do. And uh, say a little prayer for Bo, my sweet little Bo. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.